this video is all about my um, my hair, my curl pattern, and my hair texture. Um, it's been requested a lot that I do um, a video showing that because I always have my hair in braid outs or twist outs. So um, I'm just gonna yeah hop in and show you guys. This is the I'm starting with the back of my hair. This side is pretty drenched and wet, and this side is dry. Like yeah, this is after it dries. So you can see I. Uh, I don't have my hair is like frizzy it's not um, I don't have uniform curls like each each strand might zigzag or have some little curl in it but my curls don't come together so it looks like I have no curl pattern and my my hair just looks frizzy like it's not uniform okay yeah so my so, curls they're not um, they're not uniform curls and this is what it's like when it's wet and when it's dry this just has coconut oil in it this is um, the shrinkage that I get so let me show you the real length of it you guys saw the shrinkage and then this is the link. So, yeah. so it's a lot of shrinkage, but you see it kind of, my hair stretches easily so it'll kind of stay after I pull it. So, sorry. so that's how my hair is um, in the back. I think it's like 4A hair and I don't think it's, okay so the curl pattern is like 4A, 4B. But like the texture is not, it's very very coarse, but it's not like the most coarse that it can be. But I do know like my back, the back of my hair is very stiff. Like, see how it doesn't move? It doesn't like swing or anything? That's how the back of my hair is. I just want to wet the side so it's even. Basically like 4A, the back is really tight and uh, shrinks up a lot. Um, and once again, I don't know if you guys can see, but I have no uniform curl pattern. I learned that I had no curl pattern, but I learned online that, like, each individual strand has some kind of pattern, but, um, if they don't clump together, it looks like, it looks like frizzy, like you don't have a pattern. Um, I didn't really like it at first because like, I wanted, you know, curls because I really like the way curls look. Um, and I haven't mastered the wash and go yet on my hair. Um, but I do like that my hair is like this because when I do my braid outs, like my hair will take any shape really fast. Um, like I'll just show you guys. I'll twist this up and by the time by the time I show you the next part of my hair, it's gonna already take the shape of this twist. Like that's like the good part of having like no curl pattern or curls that don't come together. Um, my hair will start to take the shape of a twist almost immediately. Like I feel like if I took this out right now, it would already take the shape. But I'm just gonna wait like a minute or something. So let me show you the second part of my hair. Second part of my hair. Um. So okay, let me show you. So my sides, my underneath sides, are basically kind of the same, except they don't shrink up as much as the back does. So this is it dry. Um, it looks very straight because it is kind of but I'm gonna wet it for you so you can see because this part is resembles the back but then right above it it's totally different you guys will see that in a second um it kind of takes a moment for my hair to um, start getting the pattern I, I put in a bun last night and like how I said my hair takes any shape my hair just got completely straight um you can kind of see the pattern coming back in the front it's very loose 
it's not as tight as the back and um very loose pattern like it's not really it's not like the back it's almost straight I like my hair is almost straight from the front completely straight and I thought it was heat damage but it's not that's just how my hair grows because even my roots but are like that and I have in front very very loose no curls just loose like zigzag so once again um yeah I don't have curls and so I identify this with like four one of the four A, B, or C that's you know zigzag and then my texture is um not as coarse as the back it's a lot softer so and you can see some of it under here is even more coarse uh, it shrinks up more and then this part doesn't really shrink up so that's the second part of my hair just a little looser pattern than the very show you back. um how i was telling you guys since i don't have a curl pattern my hair takes the shape of anything really fast so i just had that twist in like i don't know I barely had it in, and my hair is already forming in the shape of the twist. Okay, so, front of my hair, really straight, and this part usually has, like, swing to it, like, how the first part didn't move, but you see this one, it moves. It's a lot looser, this one is even more loose than, um, it's the loosest part of my head. And this part is basically straight. Like you see, dry is like basically straight. It almost looks blow dry. So um, I'm gonna wet this for you, so you can see how this is wet. is very straight um, with a little bit of wave to it it doesn't um, like I said I don't really have a real curl pattern it's just very tight and loose waves basically um, And it's not, it's not heat damage. I thought it was for the longest, but it's really not. My hair grows out of my scalp that way. Like, it's not heat damage. So I was thinking like, oh, um, once I start, like, taking care of my hair, my curl pattern will come back. Because I, I don't even know what my curl pattern was. But this is my curl pattern. Very loose waves so my hair is not at all curly um it's just a bunch of waves that don't clump together and it looks frizzy basically um i do want to try to master my wash and goes um this summer even though you know i don't know i i want to be able to just uh do my hair and then add product to it and then leave without having to twist it or braid it and then wait for it to dry. Sorry, my head itches. That's why I keep scratching it. My scalp is dry. I need to steam my hair and my scalp. But um, last night I kind of tried to wash and go. I, I don't know. I was just like excited to try it. And I really took my time and I each piece, I just did it with coconut oil, but each piece I drenched it. And then put coconut oil and it actually turned out okay like usually it turns out where this is super long like this and then the back is like super short like this so I'll be experimenting that with you guys um, soon but yes this is my hair type I saw it dry and then 
wet. Ma, a, da, e, da, a. Say hi. Hi. Okay. So that is my hair type. Um, I'm like 4A, 4B with a soft texture in the front and then a more coarse texture in the back. Like the front, you see it moves. And then the back. I play baseball. You can see the back. Mama, I play baseball. It doesn't move. So, that is my hair texture. Um, stop dating. I don't know what else you guys wanted to know. Um, I think I am going to do a video about how to do my hair. Um, because I've been getting that question too. And it's, it's nothing too fancy. But, obviously it worked because my hair was stuck at my collarbone for years and then in the last three years it's grown this much crazy Mama, so I'm I gonna do a video baseball. on that also I with pictures baseball. and everything like that it's my texture no defined curl pattern um 4a 4b tighter in the back looser in the front so okay you guys I will see you in my next video Bye. 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 Oh, can I get a picture? Take a picture. Okay, we'll take a picture.